Mm, good day, it's Regic here, and welcome back to Too Many Bones. This is let's just just marvel at how awesome that name is. Too Many Bones. I just love saying it. It is a fantastic name for a dice game. But anyway, let's move along. We are we turn six here. So that means we're facing 24 point baddie stack. So it's getting pretty serious. We've only got two spots left till the end of this mission though. And unfortunately our encounter for the day is another scent of a gear lock. That means we're being hunted by the Mullanesh. We've already drawn this before. Basically, I'm not gonna read it all out. Basically we search and we add a new token to this pile here. And what I mean by that is we grab this dude and stick him here. It just means that when we do eventually fight this boss, there's gonna be two extra five point baddies and that's gonna be a serious problem. And then after we resolve the tyrant encounter, we draw the next encounter card and then shuffle this back in. Yeah, blam, 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 blam. Uh, you know, I don't like the fact that I can see the back of those cards. It kind of annoys me. Uh, you know what I might do? I'm going to quickly turn this on and just make a little bag. And I'm going to put all the cards in the bag. And now I can shuffle the bag. And I can't see what card is next. Because you could kind of just keep going, ah, but shuffle, shuffle until you didn't have a uh, Moulin Ash at the top again. <laughs> okay, let's do the encounter. A bed of bones. Over here, our scout calls, ending our pursuit of the owner of an odd set of tracks we've been following all day in hopes they'd lead us to something special. Well, they did. Unfortunately, they have led us to a cavern filled with heaps of torn armor and gnawn on bones of what was once or too eager suckers. I mean adventurers. What's more disturbing are the piercing eyes staring down at us through the dark. There's something very much alive in here with us. Looks like a battle is finally coming. Ooh. ooh. Trove loot for everyone in the party plus a skill point if we pass choice one. Choice two gives us nothing. They both cause battles though. That's interesting. So both of them have the battle symbol. So even if we do the run away, we're still going to have to have a battle against tw 24 points of bad guys, which is pretty major regardless. And if we pass, we get a progress point and another two points. So we basically, if we do the top one, we get three skill points and everyone gets a trove loot. Okay, let's read this out. Run in all directions. Add 20 point baddie to the top of the battle queue. Choose one to six attack and defense dice the entire party must exhaust. Cannot be rolled this battle. Gearlocks must at least have that much attack and defense. Roll a d6 at the start of each round. If it is less than or equal to the number of party dice exhausted, place a stun effect die on that 20 point baddie this round. Interesting. If Victoria shuffle the special encounter, hunting the hunters into your encounter deck, if not already. Or we can just run away, take two damage to everybody, and just have a battle. So basically, the top or the bottom is exactly the same, except there is a 20 point baddie, an extra 20 point baddie to deal with. So who cares? I think it's almost basically the same and we can discard some dice at the beginning to stun him and just keep him stunned the whole time anyway. So I think we're just gonna risk it. I mean, this is a learning game anyway. And if we wipe, that just means I can start a game again, a second game with a better understanding of the rules. So, you know, let's do it. Let's go for it, man. Let's go for it. Run in all directions. Let's do it. Okay, so what do we need to do? First, we need to build the baddie queue. So the baddie queue is 24, because we're at six, the sixth day. So we grab a 20 point for 20, and then one, two, three, four, because everyone's revealed at the moment. 
and then we need the another 20 point and that has to go on top right that's what it said so we build the baddie queue and then put the 20 point baddie on top of the queue so that is the current queue so we'll just grab all those suckers boom so that's our queue which means he goes here he goes here and this one here is the one from there by the way this guy's here and this guy's here now normally i have to do this a little more carefully but because it's all being uh you know these guys are all revealed i can kind of do it as we go so let's just get everyone's health out one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five five seven uh, we need one more god one more right so let's have a look at our guys lashback three that is brutal let's turn this off that means every time we attack this guy I think even if it's ranged, right? Anytime anyone attacks, is that correct? After this unit is damaged by an adjacent opposing unit. So we have to be able to kill this guy with ranged or we're stuffed. Wow, that is full on. And he's got thick skin too. And he's got terrify. Now terrify means every time you attack someone with terrify, you gain one of these die and then you keep that until the end of your next turn. And while you've got this die on you, you can't attack anything that has Terrify. This guy has Terrify, and this guy has Terrify. He also has Thick Skin 2, which means every time we do damage, the first two points is lost. So we have to do three damage to do one point of damage. That is, well, this is going to be impossible. Okay, wow, I'm depressed suddenly. Okay, it's, what else has he got? He can move diagonally, so... Looking at the icons, starting at the bottom left here, moving to the bottom right. We have two feet, that means he can move diagonal. He has, he's melee, he's a creature, and oh, he adds a baddie to the stack. Oh, does this guy, oh, this guy adds a baddie to the, see that little skull in the corner there? Oh, so these both add for, oh no, I didn't think of that. When I, when I chose the top mission. I think I just killed myself. Okay, let's give it a go. So we've got... This guy has a scout ability. Before battle, reveal a baddie in its active stack. You may cycle it to the bottom. So the battle hasn't started. We... Nothing... Technically... Technically, I haven't even decided to do the top mission yet. Because all this information is open because everything was revealed through scouting so there's no reason for me to be i don't know let's just do it anyway let's just give it a go so we're going to reveal the top one with his scouting ability break corrosive two shields and three dice seven wow now i don't want to deal with him so let's uh <laughs> move the stone golem to the bottom and both of these now place a face down, unrevealed monster into the stack. So, we've got two five point baddies that we didn't plan on, which I should have known about. And now I've got these huge monsters. So let's prepare. We have zero rage. We have two traps that we can place at will because everything's revealed. Otherwise, you'd have to place them beforehand. I think she has nothing. And he has to roll for his gear. We want to get the range gun and the battery power. You blam! Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Perfect. So we get both of these. And we'll take spider bot two. That's excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, we might have to, hmm, I don't know. Okay, so that's the end of that. So now we've got to think about our actual uh, 
combat, let's uh, save a camera here. We're gonna place these on top of these dudes. This guy here is gonna have the, have the effect from the card stunning him. So I think we're gonna go like that. Let's give this a roll and see what we get. You blam. Oh. Could have been better, but it's still pretty good. So this trap is gonna go here and this trap is gonna go here. And basically what this trap does, this one here, so it's a it's a two out of six, so it's a one third chance of getting what we wanted. So it was pretty good odds. Basically, snare is minus two attack stack, and this is just true damage as soon as the movement. Yeah, and this is just true damage. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So basically this trap goes off straight away and takes one damage from this guy. Okay, and we are set up. Boom. Oh, wait, we just gotta put these things on now. Oh, if we, if we win this, it's gonna be a miracle. These are all melee. And this guy is five. This guy is five. This guy is six, that is bad news. And this guy is two. So we don't have to worry too much about him. Uh, green is two, beg your pardon. And pink is six. Okay, so that's that. Hmm. What else? Is, this guy has something else, doesn't he? Oh, he's got Inspire. Okay, Inspire is incredibly nasty. Where is that? Here it is. Inspire, the next baddie in the init meter takes the turn immediately after this unit, move their die, and it's granted an additional attack dice. So that is full on. But the next die, because this guy is a five and this guy is a five, so we can position them either way. So we've set up the next guy to be the blue who's gonna be stunned, right? So it'll activate him, he'll get the extra dice, he doesn't move, and he'll be stunned with any luck. So that basically nullifies his inspire ability. So that's a nice little bit of bonus luck. And now, we just have uh, gear locks. Let's give these guys a roly poly. Hoo -hoo. What's going on here? Yep. And you blam. Okay, so this is an all right roll. Not too good. We get one decent roll. We may as well leave this guy here. This guy goes before the yellow. That's fantastic. And then everyone else goes before green. So we'll probably go like that oh wait so it's three four so it goes this guy has to go last okay so that is the setup for the order now we just have to place our gear locks okay so let's think about this this guy has break now break destroys weapons which means this guy has to go here because he's the only person besides tink who can fight that this guy hmm, this guy has got it's got quite a lot of die here you know i think we're gonna stick this dude here oops we're gonna stick this dude here we're gonna stick this guy here actually we're gonna stick this dude here and the ranger here okay yep yeah, this is what we're gonna do so first turn this guy can attack in the here oops first turn this guy can attack this dude, get his rage up. Then he can move over here before yellow has a turn and kills this guy, which will get him a health back. Meanwhile, these guys can do their turns and he can finish off by placing his robot here, which can act as a shield to stop this guy who is minus two dice, but he's, oh God, he's rolling five. So he's still rolling three dice. Oh, this is, this does not look good. Now, we need to still satisfy this card, which is got to choose one to six dice. So we have a choice. We can either discard six and make this guy permanently 
uh, you know, wounded, uh, stunned. So if we discard six dice, you don't even have to roll. You'll just always be stunned. If we discard five, it's a one in six chance of him not being stunned. But if we get one in six, we will pretty much instantly lose because he'll run out and do very nasty attack. Got a lashback three. That is brutal. So what have we got here? If I take out one of his combats, that's one dice removed. If I take out... I'm going to leave all his combats in. If I take out one of her shields, that's two dice removed. Three, four, five. I'd like for him to have at least one to get a bone so he can do healing his... He, use bones to heal his, his bot. But we've got this to heal the bot, don't we? Yeah, so I'm actually going to chuck all him... Yeah, I'm going to chuck... I have to chuck all these out. So that's five. So three... Four, five. So my only other choice would be to remove this guy's. Hmm. But that ah, oh, that is really brutal. How lucky would have to be to roll six times in a row and not get a six? I don't think it's possible. I mean, statistically we should roll one, but like you know, statistics are weird like that. I'm gonna say no. So I'm gonna actually discard. We're gonna leave maybe i should just move that she'll have this attack dice here but she needs to be able to do three damage to hurt this guy this thing here is how how good is it it's only got a d6 for damage two and this thing here it's got a miss damage one so it's exactly the same so this die is the same except it doesn't have a bone on it I'm going to discard another one. So that's six. So we've taken three die from Tink. We've taken two die from Nugget. And we've taken one die from Tantrum. And that is six die, which means this guy is permanently stunned. He'll never not be stunned. Wow. And that's it. We are ready to start this battle now. I think I, I, think I might actually save it here and we'll have the next, we'll split this into two and we'll just have, go straight into the battle in the next video. And I will see you guys next time.